Okay, so this is 1.5, 1, 1, 1.4, 1.5, part two. I did miss an example in this, um, in the original recording. So I'm gonna go ahead and cover that example now. So for example five, it says the metabolic rate of an ectothermic organism increases with increasing temperature within a certain range. Experimental data for the oxygen consumption C in microliters per gram per hour of a beetle at a certain temperatures can be approximated by the model here, okay? So C is the consumption, oxygen, oxygen consumption, and um, X is the air temperature in degrees Celsius, okay? So question A says the oxygen consumption is 140 microliters per gram per hour. What is the air temperature? So if they're giving me the oxygen consumption, that means C is equal to 140. So I'm gonna come up top and I'm gonna say, instead of C, I'm gonna say 140, 0 0.45 X squared minus 1.65 X plus 50.75. Um, and since they want me to find the air temperature, that means they want me to find X. Um, and I do not know how to factor anything with decimals in it. So I'm gonna subtract the 140 so I can get it equal to zero. And I get zero equals 0 0.45 X squared minus 1.65 X. And then here I have 50.75 minus 140. I get negative 89.25. So I am gonna use my quadratic formula. So negative of B, which is negative 1.65 plus or minus negative 1.65 squared minus four times A times C. The whole thing over two times A. So I'm gonna do this in each piece, okay? We're going to do the negative negative of 1.65 which is just positive 1.65. And I've run out of um, pencil lead there. So let me grab my pin. So we get positive 1.65 plus or minus, and then I'm gonna calculate what's under the radical. So clear, we're gonna do parentheses, negative 1.65 squared minus four times A times C. And I get 163.3725. It is positive, so I do not have to worry about um, taking out any i's. But I am going to take the square root. So square root of this number is 12.78172524 over 9. So I am gonna take 1.65 plus 12.78 dot, dot, dot over nine, and then 1.65 minus 12.78 dot, dot, dot over um, 0 0.9. So let's see, we have 1.65 plus that answer divided by 0 0.9. We get about rounded to one decimal place. So we get about 16.0 or 1.65 minus that 12 point something divided by 0 0.9. That is a negative 12.4. Now it does say write the temperature. Um, it's in degrees Celsius, degrees Celsius. Um, it doesn't make sense for it to have, oh, here you go. Your X is going to be between 10 and 25. So between these two X values, because these are X, right? This one is not in the particular range, okay? So that means my only answer is going to be the 16, okay? So that's for part A. Now for part two, it says when the air temperature is increases from 10 degrees Celsius to 24 degrees Celsius, the oxygen consumption is a cre increase by approximately what factor? Um, so essentially what we'll do is we'll figure out what the consumption is for 10 degrees, then we'll figure out what's the consumption for 24 degrees, and then we'll see what the difference is between those two, okay? 
So let's plug in first the 10 degrees Celsius. And then we'll also plug in the 24 degrees Celsius. So for the first one, we have 0.45 parentheses 10 squared minus 1.65 times 10 plus 50.75. And so we get 79.25. Whereas if we plug in 24, we get 270.35. Now they wanna know what factor, factor is our key term, okay? Factors are what you get when you multiply. So apparently they want some number times the 79.25 to equal the 270.35. Well, in order for me to figure out that factor, that number, I'm gonna have to take 270.35 divided by the 79.25. And let's see what we get. So 270.35 over 79.25. Um, and we get about 3.4. And so this is the factor that they're looking for. If you were to take this number and multiply it by 3.4, it could should come out very close to this. Not exactly because we know it's not exactly 3.4. Okay, so that was the last topic. I sorry I did go, I did miss it in the first um, video, but now you do have it all worked out. So I'm going to stop.